Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gamer back to do the last 32 draw for my tournament. And yes, these are all the combatants that have qualified from the group stage, all in their own categories as you can see. And each category represents where they finished in their respective groups. So we have pot 1 are the people who won their groups, pot 2 are the people who finished second in their groups, pot 3 are the people who finished third, and then pot 4 are the people who finished fourth. Yes, it was quite an entertaining group stage, but the real fun begins with the knockout rounds. And yes, five matches before someone can claim eternal glory? Well, I should say five matches stand in the way of whoever w wants to win this tournament from winning it. We have the last 32, the last 16, the quarterfinal, the semifinals, and then the finals. And there'll be a third place playoff as well. But before we do that, we got to put all these guys in their respective brackets. So, how this will draw will work, we have four randoms with one, it should be one to eight, not one to six. Each of you have been numbered, as you can see, and the matchups will work like this. So the first matchup will be someone from this column facing someone from this column, so a, a, a group winner versus someone who finished fourth. Oh, and as a as a little FYI, you, you are not allowed to face anyone that was in the same group as you, so I cannot go up against Ultimate Dino King, as an example. And then we'll have someone from pot three here facing someone from pot two. And then it'll be reversed around, and then it'll be the same for four and one. And then we'll rinse and repeat until we fill all these brackets. So, let's not mess about, let's get on with it. Okay, up first we will have someone from pot one, and that someone is number three. Number three, that's Mr. Backpack. Mr. Backpacks will be playing in the first match of the knockout rounds. And his opponent shall be... Number seven, who's that? Ooh, Cryonova. Interesting. So, our first match of the knockout rounds will be Mr. Backpack taking on Cryonova. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Okay, now for our next matchup, we will pick someone from pot three. Ooh, that's number six. Ooh, that's Chainsaw going into, going into this matchup. And they will take on... Someone from pot two, which will be number seven. Wait, hang on. We've number seven. Oh, ooh, ultimate Dino Queen. Wow, that's a very intense bracket up there. Look at that. Mr. Backpack, Cryonova, Chainsaw, and Ultimate Dino Queen. Some heavy hitters there. That's a very tough bracket there. Right now, for this one, we will have. Next up, pot for pot two. So, just change up the seven. And we will have number five. That is, ooh, Lanzu. So, Lanzu will be going into this matchup. And their opponent shall be... I don't want the seven. Number five. Oh, I don't think they can be... No, because Dark Ash Star's in the same group as them, so they can't play Dark Ash Star. So, try again. Number four. Ooh, Nopi. So I'll have Lanzu taking on Nopi. Ooh, we're getting some matches so far, but I haven't been drawn yet. Maybe I'll be drawn this time because we will see someone from pot four going up against someone from pot one. So, again, change up the seven. And it's number three. So it's Torvasaurus. And they shall... F Hang on, I've just got to sort that out. Put them put in there. And they shall face... Ooh, number two, that is Shadow Force. Ooh, that could be a tough game for Torvasaurus there. Shadow Force has been quite impressive so far. Ooh, that's an interesting bracket, though. It's very open, but that will be a tough match for Torvo. And that's an interesting section as well. I think, I think, I think the winner out of this section will probably come from this side, if I'm honest, but... We'll just have to see. Right, now for this bit. So we'll go back in order again. So 
we'll pick someone from pot one and then someone from pot four. So I'll drop up the six and the someone from pot is number three. One, ooh, Nano Hunter. So Nano Hunter will be going into this bit and his opponent will be Number two, number two, who is that? Ooh, Scyther Sky Dragon X. So we will have Nano Hunter taking on Slifer Sky Dragon. Uh, that's, I would say that's quite a, not a bad draw for Slifer Sky Dragon. I mean, I'll have to look at the matchups first before I can actually determine if it's a good draw or not. But Nano Hunter was probably the one you would. I think out of all of these, I'd say maybe Nano Hunter would probably be the one you'd want to be pitted against. Or maybe Chompstan, or... I mean, Danex Tactos third and lost yet in this tournament. I mean, you don't want to face me for obvious reasons, you know. The champs, the hosts. Shadow Force was quite impressive. Mr. Backpack is on good fo is in good form. Maybe Blood Moon as well. Blood Moon wouldn't be too bad for someone. And then Engineer Gaming, again, has been on good form recently. So that could be one to avoid. Anyway, next up we will do pot 3 and pot 2. So, someone from pot 3, and that someone will be number 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, random guy 86. So, random guy 86, and they will be playing. Ooh, I think I know with that is, because that's Tor. Ooh, tough match there for random guy. Taking on Tor. And that's quite the tough bracket for those three, because Tor is in it. And I suspect that Tor will probably get to by here. So yeah, definitely a good draw for Tor there. Right, now we need someone from pot two now. So, drop that number five. Number two. Number two is... Ooh, Lousp. Lousp going up here. Ooh, are we seeing a Laos Tour quarterfinal, maybe? Well, we'll find out, because Laos's opponent will be number four. That will be... One, two, three... Dark Ashtar. Uh, Dark Ashtar. By it. Ooh, I, I'll have to check. That might be a good matchup for Laos. But it'll be tough for Dark Ashtar to get past him. Right, now we need to pick someone from pot four. So someone from pot four will be number three. So that is... Ooh, we got Aladar going in, going up here. I think this is Aladar. I mean, I seem to remember all your picks well now, so hopefully I got that right. If I didn't, I'll just change off camera. And Aladar's opponent will be number five. Hang on. One, two, three. Oh, nope. Ooh, that's going to be a brutal match there for... Um, that'll be a brutal match for Aladar there. A clash of the Eocark areas. With Super Omega Eocark area taking on Super Eocark area. Ooh, that could be an exciting match. Can Aladar end Danex Tactile's unbeaten streak? Right. We are pretty... Well, we're pretty much halfway through. And we got a lot of combatants to put in yet. We still got to put me in a cap in a matchup. We got Ultimate Dino King. We still have Ibuki, Dino Nerd, Lepoke, Arctic Warriors, Maximum Pyrus, Engineer Gamings, Pilk, DBW, Chompstan, Champions Team, Blood Moon. And, and that's it. So let's move on. So we shall be back to here now. So pot one. So we should be down to four. Ooh, that's number four. One, two, three. Okay, I'll stop doing that, I promise. We have Engineer Gaming. And their opponent will be... Ooh, that's Alt of a Dino King. I don't need to check, because I already know. Ooh, that's going to be a tough match for Ultimate Dino King, that. Engineer Gaming. Red Hot on form. And Ultimate Dino King, although, I might get a bit of a... Might get a bit of a confidence boost after the after winning that last match, so could be a tough one for Engineer Gaming, but it'll also be a tough one for Ultimate Dino King. Right now for pot three and pot two. So pot three, we will see. Number three, so number three. That is 
Star Pumpkin. And their opponent shall be... Number four. Hang on, we'll be either. One, two... Nope. That is Arctic Warriors. A clash of the Mega Raptors as Star Pumpkin takes on Arctic Warriors. Ooh, that's a good draw. Quite exciting. Some really good draws so far, but we still got the put myself, so maybe I'll be coming up soon. So my possible opponents could be Darius, Dinosaur Queen, or Lepoke. If truth be told, I wanted to face Torvosaurus in the last in the knockout round first, because I basically have a type advantage over all his dinosaurs, so it should it wouldn't be too tough to win. But maybe we'll be drawn in like the same group, so I'll play him eventually. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Where are we? Where are we? Oh yeah, pot two and pot three. Okay, so pot two we will have. Ooh, that's um, what's his name? I boogie. No, wait, what? No, it's Pilk. My mistake. So we have Pilk, Pilk the milk, <laughs> and their opponent shall be number two. Oh, hang on, we might have. Oh no, we have it because that's Dino Nerd. Ooh, I think that's a I think that's a bad matchup for Dino Nerd because Pilk has a Baryonyx, and that Baryonyx will be at a type advantage against all of Dino Nerd's dinosaurs. And that Baryonyx is going in first. So if Pilk gets a 2-0 lead, then I think it'll be an early exit for Dino.